Some historians believe that Jesus wasn't crucified, or if he was, he didn't die. Instead, according to the theory, he traveled to a village in Japan called Shingo, lived a long life there, and his tomb is supposedly there too. People have different opinions about Jesus' story in the Bible. According to the New Testament of the Bible, Jesus was crucified, placed in a tomb, rose from the dead three days later, and ascended into heaven. But, according to history experts, while there is a spiritual interpretation in some quarters of Christianity, this cannot be considered as historical truth. In the field of Christian history, some authors, like Michael Bigent, Richard Lee, and Henry Lincoln, suggested in their book Holy Blood, Holy Grail, 1982, that Jesus wasn't crucified and didn't die. They believe he was hurt, put in a cave, and later got better, which is what the Bible calls the resurrection. They say the Bible stories are symbolic, not literal, and more specifically, the real Jesus is different from the one in the Bible. So, what's the true story? There are alternative historical theories and claims about the life and death of Jesus. Nicholas Notovich's book The Life of Saintissa suggests that Jesus had interactions with Tibetan Buddhism, and spent time in Tibet during his missing years between childhood and adulthood. According to this theory, Jesus learned from Tibetan spiritual teachers. Some theories suggest that Jesus may have spent time in Lodak, India, specifically at the Hemis Monastery. They claim that there is evidence of Jesus' presence in Lodak, but these claims are controversial and not widely accepted. The most popular theory proposes that the tomb of Jesus is located in a village called Shingo in Japan. This theory suggests that Jesus traveled to Japan after his resurrection and died there. Around 1,500 years ago in Japan, an enigmatic person named Takenuchi no Matori, penned a document known as the Takenuchi Documents. These writings are rooted in Japanese folklore, and are believed to contain an untold account of human history. According to the Takenuchi Documents, they reveal an unfamiliar story about Jesus. In this version it suggests that, the person who was crucified wasn't actually Jesus but his younger brother, Isaac Eri. With Isaac Eri's assistance, Jesus escaped from the watchful eyes of Roman soldiers, and fled Judea and ended in Shingo. During his exile, it's said that Jesus carried a bundle of Mary's hair and his brother's severed ear with him. The document also said that, Jesus married a local woman, had kids, and lived up to the age of 106. Some people in Shingo believe they are Jesus' descendants. This theory is also remains controversial, as some correspondence regarding that was found during 1936, and those were supposedly destroyed during World War II. In Shingo, there's a place called the Grave of Jesus Christ, and it's become a tourist spot. The Jesus Museum in Shingo has what they call evidence of Jesus being there, including a copy of the Takenuchi documents. Many tourists visit, but some think it's a hoax. In a nearby place, they say Jesus' brother's ear and a lock of Mary's hair are also preserved. Why would Jesus go to Japan? The Takenuchi documents say he came to study Buddhist teachings and philosophy, when he was young and returned after surviving the crucifixion. This story has some similarities to what Nicholas Notovich wrote about. Even today, people in Shingo draw crosses on the foreheads of newborns, which they believe is a sign of Jesus' presence. They also hold a festival every June in memory of Jesus. Whether the story of Jesus in Japan is true or not, Shingo has become famous as the place of his tomb, and it brings in tourists, providing income for the locals. Many curious people visit the village all year round.